No, I'm not giving up YouTube, I'm not quitting school, I'm not moving. My life is changing because I'm going to have more time on my hands. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I am a senior in college right now. I graduate in May, so literally a month away. And I have enough credits already to graduate, so I'm a part-time student, which means I only have three classes that I'm currently taking. I've been fortunate enough to be able to take all three classes on one day. Well, really two on one day, one's an online class, so I only have to be in class on Mondays. So it gives me a lot of time to work on YouTube, to work on myself, to go to the gym, to make videos, to study to get my certification in strength and conditioning. But now I'm even gonna have more time, because as you know, I've been working Tuesdays through Fridays, sometimes on the weekends at a nannying job, which would take, you know, about four hours out of my, four or five hours out of my afternoon. But now some of that has changed a little bit and I don't have to work except for a few random days here and there. So yes, my life is changing in terms of I'm going to have more time and I'm very excited about that. You know, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love working. I love being a nanny, especially to those kids. They were awesome and you really get to know them very well when you're working with them every day. So I'm going to miss that. But now I get to do a lot more things for myself and for you guys, which is very, very exciting. But just gonna introduce small stuff in each video about what I'm doing and kind of take you guys through my day and how I'm going to structure that because yes, I live here at school, just off campus. And now that I'm gonna have more time, I, you know, literally just Mondays is the only day for class. So I've got six days out of the week to be productive and get things done, which makes me very, very excited. I'll go over that a little bit in each video. But right now I'm at school, today is Wednesday, so it's kind of a busy day but it's good in breaking things up a little bit. So right now, I'm going to be doing my cardio, 300 calories, my uh, second or third, third session of cardio this week. And then I have abs as well. I'm gonna go get some lunch, and I'll go to retro, and I will get chest and back done. But I'm glad that I get to break these workouts up too, get cardio and abs done, and then come back with a different mindset, hit those deadlifts. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the last video and kind of got that message. Um, Really meant a lot to me. I love doing those parts of the videos. But anyway, go get this cardio nap done, and I'll see you guys later. That hair, though, goodness, what am I doing? That's post cardio and post abs right there. So got that done. But again, talk about my weight, which you saw this morning, 156.4, which is actually my lowest weight in today. Today's Wednesday. Um, the day that I showed you guys that I was really, really bloated, I weighed in at 158 at that, which I know really isn't my true weight, probably a bunch of water weight. Um, and then the next day was 157, today was 156.4. So that's all progress. And that's even with the new like diet, With that's with the carb cycling. Even the day after I felt bloated, I did a high carb day. So I knew my weight would be higher because I was eating more carbs, so that just makes sense. But then weight did come down after a low carb day. So it's all the process. I really knew that my true weight was not in the 151s or 152 like I was last week. I know that was just maybe something with water retention. So I'm not gonna stand by that. At 156 this morning, definitely felt lighter than that, but again, it's just a number, it's just a guideline. It's not always true, so not worried about that. But just wanted to show you guys that, talk about it. But I'm gonna go get some lunch, relax for a little bit, get some work done, and then I'll see you guys at Retro for when we finally deadlift. Back from lunch, just getting some work done. Had to take an online quiz for my psychology class, which um, psychology is my minor. Just took a quiz, pretty easy. It's only four questions, but let's see what we got. Look at that, it's a nice average. Today's quiz, calculate grade, four out of four, perfect. This is kind of like what I do before I would have work we come back from lunch or whatever I'm doing, get as much work done as possible, answer emails, reply back to your comments, schoolwork, just kind of a bunch of little things, and then I would head to work, but a little different today. Get to head to the gym now. So I'm gonna finish up some more things, and I'll see you guys at the gym.
What's up guys, it's Gina. I haven't done a commentary in a while, so I thought I would do this for this deadlift session real quick. I've got 35 pound plates on each side, and as you can see, they're doing a lot of renovating in the gym, so space is kind of tight, and you'll see how tight it gets pretty soon. I've got a 45 pound plate on there now on each side. But I tried to find my own space, but that didn't really work. As you can see, someone's on the leg press, and then someone jumped in on the machine right in front of me. But it is what it is. I did 155 for one rep, 175 for another rep. Just working on here. Felt pretty good. I was happy to finally be deadlifting again. And now I'm putting on 195 on the bar. And these hex plates, if anyone else has deadlifted with them before, you know how difficult it is just having to reset and everything. So this is my first attempt at 195. I have broken 200 once, but right here, I'm saying I'm not going to get it. I literally said that in my head, and I'll let you watch it. Got it off the ground, and that was it. But I'm just letting this play. I walked away for a little bit, kind of thought about it. It's like I can't leave it like that. And so now I'm saying, you know what? I'm getting this. I'm going to pull this off the ground. I've done it before. I'm going to do it again. So here we go. So much better. Went it up pretty smoothly. I just psyched myself out, unfortunately. And here I am. I was about to go. And like this is the space that I was working with, literally. But um, as you can see on the bar, I put 165 on there now. And these were my working sets. I did a 4 by 6 which felt very good. It was difficult, but like difficult enough. Say so rocked back on my heels there. Just got to keep an eye on that. But overall deadlifts felt very good. Just giving you guys some different angles. I know that I kind of need to sit back a little bit more, use more of my legs and kind of load up instead of, you know, using my arms and just kind of reaching down cuz I am so tall. It's really hard to sit back, but I'm working on it. More practice I'll get, but this was my last set of four sets, and just having to reset the plates was getting pretty frustrated, but I got through everything, and I was pretty pleased with it. The rest of my workout was focused on you know, more back movements, and I got into chest, and just the overall environment of, this, of the gym at this time. It was about 1 or 2 o'clock. It was, you know, it wasn't busy at all. Just felt good. Everyone was in a good mood. So this was a superset that I did. And you'll see this guy here. He works at Retro. And he just finished doing a show at Easter weekend. And he's big on Instagram, so I'll put his information down below. He's also getting ready for a few other shows coming up. But just great inspiration. It's nice being around people who have every, you know, other things in common with you. And now this is a 5x5 five five that I did with 85 pounds total. My last time that I did something around this rep scheme was three sets of five, and I only did it with 70 pounds. So major improvements in my bench. This is a 5x5 five five with 85 pounds. So I was very, very pleased with that. So I did that, and then I worked into a superset here of cable flies, four sets of 15, really feeling the squeeze, and I've been able to increase the weight on this as well. So a lot of improvements. Supersetted this with single arm, chest raises, whatever you want to say it. I have two five pound plates in my hand, so a total of 10 pounds. This was also four sets of 15. Really gets isolation in the chest. And then I finished up with one more back exercise and one more chest exercise. This feels really good because in the stance, you feel it in your entire back, not just in your lats. And then this was a 3x10 because my chest was just on fire by the end. The previous back exercise I did 4x15. So that's going to do it for the workout. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and enjoy the rest of the video. Always trying to make investments for this channel for you guys. So right next door to the gym is a Staples. And one of my tripods was starting to break a little bit. Like wasn't holding the camera very well. It was just like falling down. So I went to Staples, picked up this one. It is a rubberized spider tripod. Definitely a lot thicker, so 
it'll be more straight if I want to hold it straight, good for like vlogging and everything. So picked that up and it was pretty cheap. It was like $15. So really cheap. And then also between having headphones in during my workout and headphones in editing videos, it's just really starting to bug my ears. So I've been wanting to get some headphones, specifically wireless headphones, but not spend a ton of money. So they also had these Philip Bluetooth headphones, black. These also weren't too bad. I think they're like 45 or 50 bucks. Definitely worth it because I just couldn't take it with my ears anymore. And a wireless will be so nice because the amount of times that the headphones get in the way, it's just so annoying. I'll test these out. Really excited. Just making small purchases for the channel, you know, making things easier with the tripods. It definitely helps to have good ones for like vlogging, for working out, you know, ones that can wrap around equipment and all that good stuff. And this will definitely help as well. But hopefully you guys enjoy that workout. I am starving. It is a high carb day, which I'm excited for. I'm gonna go over that probably on the next video. Not too sure yet. It's still just kind of getting used to carb cycling and trying to figure out for myself before I dive in and tell you guys everything. I wanna have all my information first so that I can talk to you guys about that. But um, head back now. It's really nice not having to work. It's 4.45 right now. I would normally be at work, but now I'm able to do more with this time. But anyway, I've been talking too much. I'll see you guys later. All right, so what we have for post-workout was I had two plain rice cakes on the way home from the workout and then 160 grams of the total 2% yogurt, which is pretty good and has some fat in there, like nine carbs, but mostly protein, and a scoop of the Magna... Uh, cookies and cream half baked which is awesome I'm almost out of it I might have like two servings left unfortunately just mix all that together so it's a good amount of protein some carbs and a little bit of fat which is great and tastes awesome I like this yogurt actually it's pretty good it's not uh, not too bad it has some flavor so it probably wouldn't be too bad on its own mm. but I'm gonna eat this and shower because I'm stinky. So many, many hours later, I've opened up these headphones. I really like them. I already had them hooked up, Bluetooth, and now they're just charging. And, you know, they're really lightweight, so easy to carry around. Excited to wear them in the gym tomorrow, so you guys will probably see that. But I just finished doing the voiceover for the workout. It's 9.45. Finished my macros, having some tea. This is, um, I think pomegranate green tea. So that's going to do it for the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. More of like a vlog style. Just taking you guys through my day, but hopefully you did enjoy it. If you didn't, please like, comment, share, subscribe. If you haven't already, don't forget about the giveaway. Check out episode 28 for more information on that and on Instagram. But thank you guys again, and as always, have a great day.